Welcome back to another story time with Mommy. I'm your bud. This is Mommy. Today we are reading Yoshi. And who is Yoshi? A, a sea turtle. Look at Just look any at sea turtle? No, she's she's a great sea turtle. She's a sea turtle genius. She is. She's a, a story about an amazing summer. And that's Yoshi. Yeah. She's a turtle. And today she survived for the longest time, and I believe she's still alive. She is, she's and she's alive. being tracked. All right, if you have a copy of Yoshi, go ahead and grab it and read along with us, Sprinkles. Otherwise, go ahead and sit back, get comfy, and read along with us. <laughs> Yoshi. Yoshi, Sea Turtle Genius by Lynn Cox and illustrated by Richard Jones. And a side note, about Lynn Cox, the author. She is a record-breaking long-distance swimmer, famous for swimming the world's most difficult waterways without a wetsuit, in water temperatures colder than any other human has endured. She is the author of some other children's books, and she also contributed to The New Yorker in 2000, and she was inducted into the International Swimming Hall of Fame. And she was very... <coughs> She was very touched by Yoshi's story, so that's what inspired her to write this book for us. The dedication to Emmy, my dear friend, and to Barbara, my inspiration. For David. Archie. Inside the egg was genius. The tiny loggerhead turtle cracked through her shell, stuck her head out, and pushed the pieces aside. She was just the size of a spile. For days, the baby turtle stayed under the sand in a nest on a beach in Australia with her many brothers there, and sisters. Then near midnight on the fifth night, when the sand was cool and the tide was high, the turtle pulled herself out she felt the force of the earth. She smelled the air and saw the shimmering reflections of the moon and stars on the water. And she used all of this to find her way down to the Indian Ocean. From the shadows, ghost crabs and red foxes began to attack. The baby turtle scrambled furiously to the water along with her siblings when a huge wave picked her up and she took a deep breath and dove under. That's, that's her, that little girl in the ocean chair. She's reached the water. For the first time in her new life, the little turtle was swimming. She glided over mermaid reef, her front flippers folded against her tiny brown shell, and her back flippers kicking. Below her lay an extraordinary world. Seahorses rode currents among slender green seagrass. Clownfish chased butterfly fish. Soft sea anemones spread their tentacles and parrotfish fed on algae. A whale shark as big as a school bus swam by, wagging his body from side to side, mouth wide open to catch tiny plants and sea animals. Look how tiny Yoshi is next to this whale shark. She's like, she's like, oh, she's so tiny. This small. And the whale sharks is like this big, meaning like this next to this. Makes she's, her look really she's, tiny, she's right? Tiny, she's, she's an ant. All night and day, the tiny turtle swam without stopping until she reached a raft of brown algae. She climbed on, hidden from hungry seabirds and fish. For many months, the turtle drifted on algae pushed by strong sea currents and swam all alone across the wide Indian Ocean. Her beautiful shell turned reddish brown and grew into the shape of a heart. After five years, the turtle, who was now the size of a house cat, reached the southern tip of Africa. She swam with penguins, fur seals, 
bottlenose dolphins, great white sharks, and yellow-bellied sea snakes. She dove between waving sea fans and squishy yellow sponges and hunted for crabs and clams and mussels. In the surf, she watched baboons chasing each other down the beach, zebras wading in the shallows, and ostriches walking along the shore. The turtle moved slowly, searching for food. When she reached deeper water, she took a big breath and dove. A fish trapped in a net caught her attention. Into the net she swam and immediately became tangled. The harder she tried to break free, the more tangled she became. The net pulled tighter. She needed to get to the surface to breathe or she would drown. Slowly the turtle inched her way up and up and up through the water, dragging the net with her. At last she broke through the surface, but she could not rest. The net was weighing her down. For hours the turtle treaded water, trying to poke her head out of for air, growing more and more exhausted. In the vast ocean, she was just a dot. But then the turtle's luck changed. A fisherman saw her struggling. He pulled the net onto his boat and took the turtle in his hands. He felt her pulse racing. He cut the net off with his knife as he spoke to her gently, telling her not to be afraid. At last, the turtle was free. But there was a gash on one side of her shell. The fisherman knew she would need immediate treatment or she would die. He placed a towel over her eyes to calm her, removed the broken pieces of shell, bathed her with fresh water to kill any parasites, and put antiseptic on her wound. Over the next months, the fisherman cared for the turtle while her shell healed. He fed her squid and she grew stronger. He named her Yoshi, which means good luck in Japanese. Before heading home to Japan, the fisherman brought Yoshi to Two Oceans Aquarium in Cape Town, South Africa. The aquarium's curator and veterinarian had no experience caring for a sea turtle. Still, they worried that Yoshi may have become tame during her time with the fisherman and would not be able to survive in the wild. They decided to keep her. For over two- That's Yoshi? Yeah. To oh. Did oh she grow God. a little bit bigger? Yeah. Yoshi. For over 20 years- I thought Yo Yoshi was gonna be like there like in a little ant, but no. Well, let's listen She's to the, the transition. Size of a whale shark. How much time has passed? Let's listen to the transition. For over 20 years, Yoshi lived at the aquarium. She grew to the size of a lion in a tank she shared with ragged tooth sharks, yellowtail flashfish, giant cob, schools of garrick, and stingrays. Sea turtles are not social animals. Yoshi did not pay attention to the others, but there were divers she liked to follow. Yoshi was now an adult sea turtle. The curator, veterinarian, and animal behaviorists decided she was ready to return to her natural habitat, the ocean. But she had spent so many years in a tank, how could she swim the great distances necessary for a turtle to survive? To get Yoshi into shape, two divers positioned themselves on either side of the tank. Back and forth, back and forth, she swam between them 65 feet each way. At the end of each workout, she was fed a bite of crab as a treat. Yoshi trained every day for 18 months, building up her strength and endurance until she became a powerful swimmer. Before they released her, scientists attached a tracking device to Yoshi's shell so they could follow her by satellite. She was so heavy that it took a group to lift her over the side of the boat and gently lower her into the sea. At last, she was returning to her natural home. 
And there's a map here that shows X marks the spot where they placed her into the water. Meaning X marks the spot means she went... She went up first, so let's read what it says. Yoshi swam up the west coast of South Africa along the shores of Nam Namibia and Angola where there was plenty of food. Then she turned and swam back around the tip of Africa. Scientists thought she was heading to the nearest loggerhead nesting site, 2,174 miles north of Cape Town, until she did something no one expected. She began swimming across the Indian Ocean toward Australia. Children and adults from all over the globe followed her progress on their computers. Where was Yoshi going? Yoshi swam more than 30 miles each day. She swam through giant waves and across calm seas. She swam through huge storms and bright sunny days. She floated half asleep through the night. Her body glowed in a blanket of sparkling water that looked magical in the moonlight. She felt the force of the earth. She felt the call in her heart. She fought the currents, the tides, and the winds. She swam through summer, fall, winter, and spring. And she kept going. She swam 22,998 miles in 26 months. That's two years and two months. All the way to Mermaid Reef Marine Park in Australia setting the record for the longest swim of any animal in history. On the reef, a male loggerhead turtle saw Yoshi and swam to her. They mated. A few months later, guided by the smell of the sand, Yoshi crawled from the water onto the beach where she had been born 25 years earlier. Make sure he's 25 years old. Happy birthday, Yoshi. Yoshi found her way home. And then she laid eggs on that same beach. Somehow Yoshi knew there was genius inside her. And inside each egg was genius. Aww. Was it a good story? A very powerful story of Those perseverance. Little guys, you can tell that guy's like, <coughs> that guy's already started, but these guys are not doing good. They're pecking this their guy's way out. trying to do his best. Now, because this is a true story, boys and girls, I wanted to read a little bit of the author's note at the end of the story. Yoshi is a real turtle whose remarkable journey has captivated people around the world. Though I imagine Yoshi's life before she was caught in the fisherman's net, everything else in this story is true. At first, scientists believed that she was born on a beach 2,174 miles north of Cape Town, South Africa, where there was a huge loggerhead nest, nesting site. But when they released her, Yoshi surprised them. Instead of swimming north, she swam west. Like all sea turtles, Yoshi sensed the invisible lines of the Earth's magnetic field in the water. And she used them to navigate across the Indian Ocean all the way to Australia. The scientists realized that this was where she had come from. Yoshi now lives off the coast of Western Australia. She is still being tracked by satellite and scientists and people around the globe continue to follow her. Thanks for joining us, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Also, become a member. The link is down below. And buy our merch. Buy our merch. Yoshi merch. Yoshi merch. Buy our merch. And our Instagram, Mirabella underscore TV. It's right there down below on your screen. Thanks for joining us, guys. Bye.